Okay, here we go. So you have the original photo that I was working from. And I started the painting using a burnt sienna as my background. This is oil paint. This video is, by the way, 16 times faster than real life, so it's going to move pretty quickly. After I did the wash over the whole thing of burnt sienna and wiped it back, then I came back in with more burnt sienna, touch of blue, to do this stage that I call mapping it out. I'm figuring out my proportions, where things are. I will oftentimes use the paper towel to wipe back what I've done if I need to make a correction. I do that a lot throughout the whole painting, but especially at this stage. So you saw I just did that there, and things get darker and darker. In the most shadowy sections, starting to bring in a little bit of color. That's where it gets yummy. But not much. Just a touch. Then at the end of this stage, I wipe everything back, unifying the space. And I come back in with more color just setting the tone. And here I go with some greens and I'm moving from the dark shady green to the light green that's going to have a little bit of cadmium yellow in it. So it really shows that sunlight on it. working on the reflections in the water. Noticing what's above is probably going to be below in some form or fashion. I added some highlights to the green space and the grass, but being cautious of not having too much cadmium if it's this part that's in the shade. And letting the shadows be cool. wiping back a lot <laughs> in order to correct my self. We don't have to call mistakes, do we? <laughs> oh, and now I'm going to come in with the bright light of the sky. Now that's going to be, in this case, a white that's mixed with a tinge of blue, perhaps a touch of cadmium yellow, but not so much that the whole sky looks green, is yellow and blue making green, just, just enough that uh, it's got some light and airiness to it. Now I'm working on the bridge, adding highlights to the bridge where the sun is shining through the trees and hitting the bridge. That's what really makes this scene interesting. Then it's going to be reflected in the water, just a little bit muted down. You saw I just smeared a bit to unify things. And making sure that my shapes within the shadows are correct. And we're nearing the end. And now I go at the very end, I got the deep, deep, dark colors back on the brush to just solidify those shapes just a bit more because they were looking a little bit wobbly. And here we go. This is the final piece. The lighting looks a bit different just because it was uh, photographed under different light. Hope that's helpful.